Miss Fine, these were delivered for you. Oh, great. Ah, oh, Miss Fine, filling in for your cousin Mel, the doorman again. Oh, <laughs> I wish. Is that a cushy job or what? Only does is open doors and receive packages. A baboon could do that. <laughs> well, well, of course, a, a highly trained baboon. <laughs> Mr. Sheffield, what do you think? I'm gonna mix and mingle at the Yacht Club today. Yacht Club? Uh-huh. That's setting your sights a little high, isn't it? You know, I am not the same chick I was when I started here three years ago. I mean, I can't look for love in all the old joints now that I've acquired so much class and panache. <laughs> Here's that Band-Aid that came off in the bathtub. <laughs> She was working in a bridal shop in Flushing, Queens, till her boyfriend kicked her out in one of those crushing scenes. What was she to do? Where was she to go? She was out on her fanny. So over the bridge from Flushing to the Sheffield's door, she was there to sell makeup, but the father saw more. She had style, she had flair, she was there. That's how she became the nanny. Who would have guessed that the girl we described was just exactly what the doctor prescribed? Now the father finds her beguiling. Watch out, CC. Smiling, she's the lady in red when everybody else is wearing tan. The flashy girl from Flushing, the nanny named Fran. Sweetheart, thank God you're home. I have to warn you, you're in terrible danger. Hmm, did Niles make a noodle kugel? <laughs> Ma, would you concentrate? Pretend you're full. <laughs> Did Aunt Frida call? Yeah, she said her apartment was being painted, so I said she could stay here for the night. Oh, I am too late. What? She's been thrown out of her apartment. <gasps> she is broke there, even took away her nightclub to pay for her taxes. No more Frida's La Freak? That place was like an institution. Has this city no soul? They're putting in a Lomans. Oh, well, you know, you really can't fight progress. <laughs> She's hitting up everyone in the family for a place to stay. How could this happen? The woman's buried five husbands. You'd think that she can live off of what she found in their old pants pockets. <laughs> what happened to Fred, her millionaire boyfriend? Well, she's afraid. If he knows that she's broke, he'll think that she is after him for his money. Well, isn't she? If she has a brain in that fat head of hers, she is. <laughs> Poor Aunt Frida. She came this close to making it as a singer. And her damn boyfriend, Steve, had to go and meet Edie. <laughs> well, good luck getting rid of Frida now. She's like a cesarean scar. You'll have her for life. <laughs> Morty's mumps. They're still contagious? Very. <laughs> Fred, get out of the car! He's so sweet, but he's such a schmageggy. <laughs> Fred, honey, pull the knob up. <laughs> oh, such a schmageggy becomes so rich. This from a woman who voted for Ross Perot? <laughs> I'd like you to meet my sister-in-law, Sylvia, and her daughter, Fran. I'm Sylvia. <laughs> I'm gonna go upstairs and steam a couple of things. Fred, would you like to come in? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, I I'm fine out here. <laughs> you know, I've got a light, a chair. <laughs> I don't want to be a bother. What do you know? He's half Jewish. <laughs> Will someone tell me when is it my turn? Don't I get a dream for myself? Starting now, it's gonna be for Mr. Sandman. Yes, bring me a dream. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> I had a dream, a dream about you and you and, and you. you. Needed a little bite to eat. Your 17 pound turkey's ready. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm taking a short break. Enjoy the buffet. 